Hey everybody, it's Grant, your friendly neighborhood and Stroke Lab community member. Today is Friday, June 21st, and I wanted to show you something a little bit different today. I wanted to show you how to use the Granite family of code models to help you in your everyday software engineering tasks. The Granite code models are phenomenal. Uh, you can run all of these locally on your own system, so you do not have to make any outside requests um, to a third-party provider for like uh, ChatGPT or anything like that. You're running the Granite code models locally. And I'm gonna show you a very easy way to get this up and running. I actually use this myself, um, so I'll just show you how I do it. Um, so the first thing I do is I go to olama.com and this will download the famous Olama project, which will allow you to download and run models locally on your own machine. I'm just going to download it for Mac OS and I am going to actually open this file and then I'm going to drag Olama into my applications and that is it. That is all I have to do to get Olama installed. Uh, pretty, pretty phenomenal so far. So now let's open up a terminal and uh, begin working on some ap actual application code. So I am in the Wild West directory, um, which is a, a Java-based program that I wrote many years ago. It's a game to show you how to use Kubernetes, and I'm just going to open up my VS Code editor. And sure enough, it opened up the source code. So the first thing we want to do is install an extension called Kodi. And we'll just search for Kodi here, and here is Kodi AI. I'm just going to install that. And uh, it looks like it's already good to go, so let's go back over here. We should have a Kodi tab now, or a Kodi, uh, I guess that's called a tab. I don't know what it's called. Um, but let's go ahead and go into our settings, and then look at our Kodi extension settings. And if we scroll down here, there's a few things we want to change if it's not already set. The first one is we want to change the autocomplete advanced provider to experimental Odlama. Okay, so that's great. So then we want to actually look at the Kodi extension settings, uh, the actual code behind it. And let's look at this. And you can see I did a couple of things here. I added this block right here. Um, so we are going to be using experimental Olama. We're going to pull it, or point it to our local host, 11434, which is what Olama is running on. And I want to specify the granite-code model. So let's open up a new terminal here in VS Code. And let's pull down that model um, that we want to use. So to do that, I just run Olama pull granite dash code colon latest and this will download the latest granite code model for me and allow me to begin using it so that went pretty quick you'll notice the granite code model is only two gigabytes in size so pretty fantastic you could even do this on a machine with limited resources so let's look at all the models i have downloaded i actually have llama 3 um, I have Granite Code and I have Granite 7B Lab, but for this, because we're doing software engineering work, we want to use the Granite Code model. So if we go to the output screen here and then select the code, Kodi plugin, we will be able to see that it is already up and running. It saw my um, local code and we can look through at some of the results here, but let's test this out now, okay? So let's make this a little bit smaller and let's go over to our code and let's uh, let's delete some code here. We'll delete this, okay? So it's going to now provide me suggestions as if, if I am coding. So I can type in catch and you can see that it is already providing me suggestions. So it's saying catch exception E, that's perfect. And then, oh, it wants me to do an E print set trace. So I'm just simply hitting tab and it is uh, accepting those suggestions for me. So now let's do something a little bit more cool. Let's uh, just add a comment here. We'll say create a method that takes two integers, integers, and returns their sum. Okay, great. Let's do that. And it's going to give me the code and do that. Pretty nice. 
All right, now let's create a method that, uh, let's say, method that takes two integers, integers and returns a list of platform objects. And you may not be familiar with this code. This does make sense to me, but it is uh, beginning to uh, write the code for me. Look at that. Um, so it, it's pretty fantastic, actually. Um, now, obviously, this is not a real example. I was just showing you some of the things that you can do. You can actually also create a new chat with it, and you can ask it um, some questions as well. Um, but again, this is all using the Granite code model locally on my machine. Uh, pretty fantastic um, that I was able to get this up and running in just a few minutes. So please experiment around with the Granite code models. I think you will be pleasantly surprised with how much they can help you in your day-to-day -day work. All right, that's it for me today, kids. I'll see you all later. Bye.